So you want to delete all of the temporary files, all of the old cache, application cache files, old Windows installation files, and even old Windows update files from your Windows 10 computer. So the first thing you want to do is press the Windows key and R to bring up the ROM box. And inside the ROM box, let's type in percent, temp, percent, and let's press enter. So this is the main folder where your applications and Windows dumps their temporary cache files. So all we can do here is just press the control key and A, which is to select all. And I'm now going to press shift delete, which is a permanent delete, which means none of these files will go to the recycle bin. They'll just be permanently deleted. So let me press shift delete now. So do you want to delete that? Let's click on yes. So the remaining files are the files that are left by Windows and they're currently in use, so we cannot delete them. Let's now close that down. Let's press the Windows key and R again. And this time let's just type in temp. And this will then take you to the Windows temporary directory. So let's click on continue. So this is also a place where we'll find temporary files and temporary cache files. Once again, let's press Control and A, which is to highlight everything. And then let's press Shift and Delete to delete all of those files permanently. So let's press that now. Let's click on Yes. Click on Continue. So once again, the files that are left in here are the ones which are currently in use, so we cannot delete them. Next up is click on this PC. Let's go to the C drive. Now, depending on your setup, if you've previously upgraded from Windows or if you have an older installation of Windows, you may find folders like windows.old. These folders are only needed if you're going to revert back to a previous version of Windows. But in my case, I just want to delete that to reclaim the space. So I can click on that, press Shift Delete again, and click on Yes. So that's about two gigs of old data that we're going to be removing by deleting this folder. Let's give that a second. Next up, going to the Windows directory, scroll down and you're looking for a folder called software distribution. Now this is a place where anytime you download a Windows update gets saved into this folder. So let's go to software distribution. Let's go to download. And these are some of the updates that have been downloaded before. So once again, we can click on that, press control A, press shift delete, click on yes, click on do this for all items and clear out that folder. So that should give us a good chunk of space back as well. Let's now close that down. Let's press the Windows key and R again. And this time let's type in prefetch. Let's click on continue. And this is basically a folder for uh, cached files and cached items on your computer. And this is not automatically cleaned out. And over time, having too many files in here can actually slow your system down. So again, let's just do Control A to highlight everything. Press Shift Delete to permanently delete and click on Yes. And we can skip the last one, but everything else has been cleared out. Let's now close that down. And let's now clear our disk drive by searching for Disk Cleanup. Let's click on that. This will now basically do a scan of your hard disk and find other things that can be safely removed. So by default, as we can see here, you have options for downloaded programs, uh, temporary internet files, and also thumbnails. But you can also take this to the next level and click on clean up system files. Let's click on that for a second. That should then invoke another scan and then give you more options on things that we can safely remove. And we can now see we have things like uh, DirectX shadow cache files, we have delivery optimization files, and that's like 900 meg in size. And here we can see another way to do remove any previously installed versions of Windows. So let's just click on that again. Let's also empty up my recycle bin, my temporary files. So that itself is going to give us back over 13 gigs of free space. So a real easy way for you to get that space back on your hard drive. So let's click on OK, click on delete files. And just like that, we will get all of that space back. And if you are enjoying these kind of videos for tips and tricks for your Windows computers or laptops, then please do take a moment to hit that like button and also think about subscribing because that really is the best way you can help support my channel. So thank you. That's now all done. Let's now open up the file explorer because we can also remove the cache from there. Let's go to the view at the top, click on options. And here we can clear the file explorer history. So let's click on clear. That's now all done and click on OK. And lastly, let's clear out the DNS cache on our computer just to give it that fresh start. So let's close this down. Let's now click on the start button, type in CMD because we're going to run this command as admin. So let's do a right click there and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. 
and the command you want to type it is just ipconfig space and forward slash flush DNS. Let's press enter and that will then flush out that cache for you. So removing the temporary files, the Windows cache, some of those application cache files, the prefetch files, and some of those Windows installation and Windows update temporary files should really help you reclaim back some disk space and also improve the performance of your Windows PC. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any other tips and tricks for Windows, then please do leave a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.